I'll start with the circus. When did you uh, when, when did you build this? I built this uh, in between 9th and 10th grade, I believe. And I'm going to show you all the nerdy shit I built in Minecraft instead of filling out job applications like I should be doing. All right, well, this is probably the most complicated game I ever made. I call it Space Invader. So one person stands over here, and then without moving, they have a bow and arrow, and they fight someone that is over here. And then this person who stands over here has to try to kill that person before that Space Invader lands on the pink. I can show you the circuitry, which is pretty cool, I guess. But this is definitely the most like complicated thing I ever had to make. There's a bunch of like repeaters in here and a bunch of uh, like overly complicated. There's a lot of pistons up there that push it against themselves. That's what in weirdly what introduced me into circuitry, which is kind of why I'm doing engineering in college now. You ready for the most exciting part of this? Let's uh, let's see this. Oh baby, hold, wait for it, wait for it, hey! <laughs> Oh, it's, it's really slow. Oh, Hold on. Just wait one, 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 one second. Hey! It's meant to be really slow, so the person back here has enough time to try to kill that person. This is a self-building bridge, which in terms of Minecraft people are probably not that advanced, but uh, I think it's pretty cool. There's just a bunch of shit in here that'll push a piston into self-creating lava. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, and then it'll, it'll create a bridge, which I think is pretty, it's pretty exciting. They should, uh, they should call me a grill because I'm a George Foreman bridges over here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey man, Foreman bridges, it's like I knew I was going to be a civil engineer, am I right? <laughs> I'm studying that in college. I wonder if this is going to be more exciting than uh, Steve talking about how he's a fan of Legend of Korra. <laughs> Well, I think I'm generally a more entertaining person than Eric, so I think it probably will be. Shots fired. Shots. Okay, this is my passion project over here that I never put to work. Oh, if you're- wait, if you're careful, you can hear my mom singing opera in the background. Probably can't hear that one on the thing, but... Um, so this is the wall from Game of Thrones, where a team over here faces against a team of White Walkers over there. You have to try to build the Tower of Pimps, which is a thing from Achievement Hunter, which is just like, it's a it's a piece of obsidian with four gold blocks on top of it. And you'd try to steal gold blocks from each team. I think each team had one gold block, and then there's one gold block on top of the wall. Yeah, there it is. So that's another thing that I built. I don't know. Okay, so uh, see the Ted in the top left? Uh, that uh, is not a name tag or anything. I went through the trouble of building a ginormous Ted uh, out of lava and cobblestone so it would show up on the map. It's not all flowing lava, it's all stagnant. So that means, because when, when you put down lava, I'm explaining this to Liam. I, I don't know if anyone watching this knows, but when you put down lava just like one block at a time, it'll like flow off to the sides and it'll look like it'll look like it's going down. So this means that I went to each individual block and placed a bucket of lava at each individual block, which means I had to go and find lava amongst the world and put it all here. How long did that take? It was probably like a week and every day I would probably play this with Chris and Scott for like four or five hours. <laughs> Probably more, honestly. So, so this this game is getting uh, gets like updated a lot. But like at the time that I built this world, which was I while I was still in the 360, um, I put every possible placeable block here in this chasm, which is cool, I guess. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> But that's every placeable thing in Minecraft, the 360 version. Or like, this is like an arena where there'd be two teams on either side. Yeah. Like you'd have a time limit. The game would start, each team would have like five or 10 minutes to collect as much material as they can. And then they would, um, then the wall in the middle would drop and then they'd fight each other. And then the last team standing won. Uh, there's not much else that's really cool wow. left. Oh, you wanna see something that makes me really cool? You see that? That's from an anime. How cool am I? I'll leave it up to the comment section to guess which one. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. As nerdy as this is, you gotta, you gotta respect how much work this boy put in. This was a lot of hours. <laughs> Probably a lot of hours I should've been focusing on getting like a girlfriend or something, but 
You got yeah. this to prove. Who yeah. needs a girlfriend when you've got a Minecraft? Wall in I'm, Minecraft. Yeah, that you never put to any use. Yay! And now you're bragging about on YouTube. To like 18 people. It's even more realistic. It's like 10. It's like it's like four. <laughs> Yay! Smash that like button if you're a frequent flyer. <laughs>